ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಶಂಕರ್ ಯಶೋದ ನನ್ನ ಮಗ ಭರತ್ತು ಹೊಳೆಬನ್ನೂರು ಹೊಸಕೊಪ್ಪ ಭದ್ರಾವತಿ ತಾಲೂಕು ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆ ನನ್ನ ಮಗುಗೆ ಎರಡು ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಮೌತ್ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಎರಡು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಬಂದಾಗ ಅಭಯ್ ಸರು ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಅದು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರಾಗೆ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ರಾಡ್ ಹಾಕಿದರು ರಾಡ್ ಹಾಕಿದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಒಂದೂವರೆ ಮೀಟ್ರ್ ಬಾಯಿ ಓಪನ್ ಆಯಿತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇವಾಗ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಇವಾಗ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎರಡು ಕಡೆನೂ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದರು ಮೂರು ಮೂರುವರೆ ಮೀಟ್ರು ಬಾಯಿ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಫುಲ್ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ರು ನಮ್ಮ ಇಂಡಿಯಾದಲ್ಲೇ ಅಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ರು ಹುಡುಕಿದ್ರು ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ರು ಸರ್ ಅವರು ಸರ್ ಮಾಡಲೆಲ್ಲ ಚೆನ್ನೈಯಿಂದ ತರಿಸಿ ಸರು ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಸ್ಟು ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಆರು ತಿಂಗಳಾಯಿತು ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮುಖ ಫುಲ್ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಇವಾಗ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನ ಮಗ ಊಟ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ದಾರಿ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ರು ಆವಾಗ ಬಾಯಿ ಓಪನ್ನೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬಾಯಿ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳಕ್ಕಾಗ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇವಾಗ ಸರ್ ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಆವಾಗ ಜನ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿದರೆ ಅಸಹ್ಯ ಪಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಇವಾಗ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಭಾಳ ಅಳುತ್ತಿದ್ದ ಜನ ಹಂಗಂತಾರೆ ಹಿಂಗಂತಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದು ಸರ್ ದಯೆಯಿಂದ ನನ್ನ ಮಗನಿಗೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಹೇಳೋಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಅಭಯ್ ಕಾಮತ್ ಸರು ನಮ್ಮ ಪಾಲಿಗೆ ದೇವ್ರು ಸಿಕ್ಕಂಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಾತಾಡಿದರು ಕಡಿಮೆನೇ ಸರ್ ಅವರು ಅವ್ರು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ನನ್ನ ಮಗನ ನೋಡಿ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಣಕ್ಕಿನ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಅಂತ ಅಂದು ಭಾಳ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಅವರು ನಮಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಹೇಳೋಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಹಲೋ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಭಯ್ ಕಾಮತ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಲ್ ಫೇಶಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಅಟ್ ಕೆ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಬೇಡ್ಕರ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋ I sit before you to present a small gist of a boy whom we had operated consecutively. I had seen this patient as a 2-year-old child with nil mouth opening secondary to infections related to the parotid gland following which the patient's parents came to me with significant amount of uh, unhappiness and complaining saying that the child is unable to thrive and has significant difficulty in having his food so when i saw the child at the first instance what crossed my mind was the child had bilateral tmj ankylosis so what we decided then was since there was least amount of bone stock available i initially planned for a distraction osteogenesis which stems from the principle of our orthopedic colleagues where distraction osteogenesis was laid down by elizaro So we used the principles of distraction osteogenesis and did a bilateral distraction osteogenesis for the child so that we could grow the mandible in a vertical as well as an anterior posterior direction subsequent to which the child did well and then the patients came back to me post distraction they didn't come back to me for a long time possibly because of financial issues and one fine day they landed up in my opd the boy whom i had operated at the age of 3 to 4 years had now come back to me at the age of 15 years now the other question at this stage the parents had asked me was once you resect the mandible or once you release the ankylosis what are you going to interpose or what are you going to put there so i told them the same thing we would uh, go in and resect the mandible or release the ankylosis and then give him a mouth opening but also i warned them saying that there is a possibility of a repeat or a reankylosis at this time what crossed my mind was why not a temporomandibular joint prosthesis when you look back into literature many people wouldn't agree with me saying that temporomandibular joint alloplastic reconstruction is a contraindication for skeletally immature individuals so what we ended up doing was we ended up doing a temporomandibular joint prosthesis for the baby and these are the stl models what we have used to assess the child's ankylotic mass and if you see here predominantly the ankylotic mass is significantly bigger on the left side and you see the elongated coronoid process of the mandible as well and simultaneously when you have a look at the right side the condyle on the right side is not deformed but definitely there are some amount there is some amount of fibrotic adhesions or a fibrous ankylosis so what we did was we never went into correcting the facial asymmetry which is very evident on the si- on the right side whereas fullness on the left side so what we did was we only planned for a 
ankylosis release on the left side and then giving back the patient his mouth opening and then address the deformity at a second stage as there was limited amount of soft tissue on this side we plan to do the soft tissue stretch and an only augmentation on the right side as a secondary procedure so what we ended up doing was we released the TMJ ankylosis and then we went in with an alloplastic joint prosthesis this is a prototype of the same patient where we have gone in and replaced the temporomandibular joints with a chromium cobalt molybdenum alloy kind of prosthesis and here is the prototype which is manufactured to understand where the joints would come in and that's the fossa eminence prosthesis which is here what additions we have done for these kind of patients is that i've given a bear hug on this fossa prosthesis the bear hug helps us to identify as to what is the seating and here you see when you look at this particular joint prosthesis there are bear hugs on the inferior and the posterior border so this concept of bear hug is something which helps us design and understand what is the ideal position for the joints and once we release the ankylotic mass that was the final position of the TJR or the total joint prosthesis yes I would agree that there is certain amount of uh, facial asymmetry which is still existing the parents all they wanted was that the child should function well eat well and thrive well and I too would agree with the patient related outcomes that his dietary score improves and that's the total joint prosthesis in place for you today when the patient visited to our OPD he's put on weight he's looking good and I've convinced the parents for a second stage surgery for a soft tissue augmentation rather than a bony surgery because they are not very keen on it for them what mattered was the mouth opening and eating well which the patient has got back and there is significant improvement in quality of life as well as from the patient's point of view or the patient related outcomes the patient is doing well thank you so much for your patient listening we shall get back to you once again with interesting cases at Kasturba Medical College Hospitals, Ambedkar Circle, Mangalore. Thank you. Mm -hmm.